My name is Nazir and I live in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I've been living here for quite a while. As you can see, I'm an artist, a painter, and um, it's been a bit difficult to be productive and stay productive. This year, I'm hoping to change this about myself personally and my life personally. I would like to dedicate more time to painting, but I haven't been able to do this because um, I've been focused on my health all the time. I have sickle cell anemia, and it's a very painful disease. And um, most of my life, I've been just distracted around this thing that just really annoys my life. But this is also part of it. It's from my pain that I find a way to um, express my feelings, my emotions, and hopefully find something of a release in it. So my work is not really created for commercial purposes, really. Um, I find a, a, a meditation in it. But because I created a sickle cell series of pain paintings, it seemed like my life got focused on this sickle cell advocacy and speaking and um, just being a face for this disease. But I never felt that my art was taken seriously enough because I do feel that I have something to offer the world that is more than the face of pain. And living with it is difficult, but um, what I would like to do with my future is change things. Stop focusing just on living with pain, but add something to my life that is more of a celebration of life and a celebration of being successful at fighting and struggling and um, just being alive and being happy in life. So I haven't been too happy because I haven't been pain. I run out of supplies a lot and uh, I don't have the art materials to continue to produce so I have all this stuff in my head and I'm not able to put it on canvas because I don't have it. And sometimes I run out of paint and sometimes I run out of paper or whatever it is that I run out of. I just lay around with insomnia all night long thinking about these paintings and I'm not able to release. So this year I want to continue a series that I've been thinking about for many years. I'm calling it Haitian Superflat. It's a mixture of Haitian culture with Japanese culture. It is strange for a black man to be creating such a thing. But I don't like to be put in a box and labeled as something. You know, because I don't feel like I'm creating Haitian art when I paint. I'm just inspired by it because I was born in Port-au-Prince. And um, my memories of my mother, my memories of family, my memories of friends, it's all about Haiti. Everything that is the core of who I am is basically the spice from Haiti. But moving to the United States, moving to Brooklyn and moving to Bridgeport, Connecticut, I felt a sense of loss, of identity. I struggled with finding something, an outlet that says, this is who I am. To say to the world that I'm not about this disease that distracts me, but I am about the colors that I use. I am about expressing something about being human, being able to survive things that really, really get in, get in, get in your way. And um, so I'm starting this campaign and project.
this year. Ho hopefully, uh, I can obtain some really, really large canvases so I can get the kind of detail that I want in my work and get some brushes and um, very thick acrylic paint and a way to s continue to work late at night when I'm not able to sleep or when I'm in pain or when I'm bothered just to be able to release on these canvases and I hopefully I'm, I'll be able to film the process of painting and um, sharing this with the world. I am not a big name. I'm not someone who is trying to go out there and I don't know, market my work so much, but I do enjoy sharing it, and um, I do enjoy the process of creating something, the process of producing, and the process of growing, the process of just the movement in my work, so basically I'm hoping that just can kickstart something new in my life. And um, just to be able to fund the supplies that I need to be able to work the way I want to work without having to take shortcuts or cut corners on the paint and the layers that I use. The canvas is too thin. I want to be able to make it thicker and uh, produce more detail and produce more lines and produce more texture in my work. And um, I, I would like this canvas to be maybe two or three times larger. Just a large wall of blank canvas that I can paint on and create something that is beautiful to me and share that. That is my story, and this is the project that I'm hoping to take a step towards for the rest of the life that I have to live. I've been struggling with pain all my life, but for 15 or so years, I've been trying, fighting for my art, fighting to paint. I haven't created that much, and I haven't sold that much. But I have been able to show my work. I've been able to publish some of my work, which is mostly dealing with sickle cell disease. But I hope to change this. I hope to be able to change the image and the box that I'm stuck in. So I'm not a Haitian painter. I'm not a black painter. I'm not anything else but a human being. And I want to share what I enjoy. I enjoy cultures. So I'm going to mix different cultures into my paintings. But my start is Haitian super flat, where it is Haiti, Japan, all together. So it should be interesting because this is something I always wanted to do. I want to be able to travel again and um, visit, go back to Haiti and visit and um, see everything that has happened in the couple in the last couple of years that affected my work and um, maybe finally make my dream come true and um, visit Japan and um, learn firsthand about the artwork that I admire from there. Uh, I'm not really so much into going to France or Europe because um, that's not really what draws me because I, in art history, everybody focuses on um, the Renaissance. Um, I want to focus on something that is deeply African, where it's my Haitian roots, the culture, and something very foreign to me, which is Japan. Something that I'm going to use in my work and mix, mix that up and make a nice little gumbo, Creole, strange, with two different cultures.
that is the project that I wish to work on. And I hope that I'll be able to find the support for it. And um, I thank you for watching this and I thank you for your support.